Hello everyone and welcome to another round of Honey Pop. I know it's been a while, but don't worry, don't worry. I haven't abandoned you. I would never, never abandon these ladies. So last time we left off, we courted the lovely and natural Belly. And today, of course, as usual, we're going to try a new girl. And that would be Mysterious Blonde Lady. Until next time. Oh, don't worry. There will be a next time. So yeah, I've, as you probably have noticed, I don't know if you have or not, I, it's been a while uh, since I uploaded a Honey Pop video. Belly, of course, was the last one, but that's mostly because I've actually been trying to record some classic gameplay for you guys. Kirby went up uh, a while ago, and the response to the first vid was pretty okay. Uh, part 2 was kind of short, but that's only because it's part of it. Anyway, we're not talking about that. Just so you guys understand... The reason why Honey Pop stopped for a bit was only because I'm in the middle of getting more classic content for you guys to play. I was sitting up there wondering, like, man, I showed you play a lot of current gen Steam games and stuff like that. And I wonder if anybody would be interested in seeing things from my childhood. So expect new and some funny things to come soon. I don't see how these girls never see me. I really don't understand it. You're really forward with all the girls, aren't you? Oh, all the way. <laughs> oh, cute. Thank you, we keep telling you. You go away. I know how to handle myself. I'm the Mag Daddy of Justice. Uh, let's see. That's a supremely nice set of tits. Ten out of ten! Yeah, I get old tits a ten out of ten. Um, hey beautiful, I can't seem to take my eyes off you. That's lame. Let's, let's be a complete douchebag. It's time for the titties. <laughs> I like a girl who is unabashedly, you know, enamored with her own chest. Eh, not really. <laughs> to be that forward with someone you just met would kind of make me uncomfortable. I would think it's a trap. Yeah, um, coming right up. What are you having? What's in it for me? Seriously, I've never been the type of guy to just be flirted into things. Uh, I've worked in retail a long time, and it's never worked. And, I, and there's been some pretty girls and girls, I, but I just never get how guys are ever suckered into stuff like that. Um, I can make it worth your while, sweetie. Trust me. Um, actually, why don't we get out of here? How many drinks does it take to get underneath that shirt? Let's see that. Because, I'm sorry, as a guy, if, like, most guys do favors for girls like that. You know, giving them something for free, buying them something with the ass, with the intention of getting something in return. And the girls never really put themselves out there and say that they're going to do it. But of course, most men are stupid. And they're just like, oh man, I'm going to do this. This girl will obviously do what I want her to do. And I'm just telling you guys out there that the answer is no. No, most of the time they won't. If ever. And you shouldn't do nice things expecting that. Um... Okay, let's look at your profile. Sexuality, you hate romance, you love baking, festive things, I do love Christmas. Um, fitness, dancer, dessert, junk food, martini, and your alcohol tolerance is high. So, most girls, you cannot make them drink um, during the day. But she will drink almost any time. I think, I think she will drink any time during the day. And Miss Yumi, you can start getting her to drink in the evening, but not in the morning, obviously. But everyone else, they're like a, a nighttime strictly thing. And even some of them won't drink on certain nights for some reason. Um, which I, I don't quite know. So, let's look at our store. Tango Rose. Okay, so we're going to get you a baking utensil. A unique gift. Mistletoe, because that's very festive. Food. Sunday, and uh, 
And then we just got the present. Consume 10 random tokens on the grid. Broken Heart and Joy tokens excluded. So we still haven't really gotten anything good. I'm really, I've really been looking for the uh, sexuality spray bottle, which wanted to really have those spray bottles and those flowers that consume specific traits help you so much late game. Um, but I haven't been getting them in this playthrough. It's really weird. And when you're answering questions, they're pretty much still slamming toward what they want to hear. Um, she's obviously very promiscuous, so she's going to want someone that can relate to her. So, yeah, I'm not exactly the best at commitment, which is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll ask away, dearie. Now that's actually a good question. Uh, I'm a very fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, blah 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 kind of guy. So I give people chances. Um, it depends on the person. Some people are hard to trust. I don't believe that. Uh, you have two people never change. I don't believe that. I believe there's a certain window. So, you know, you can give them another chance. And it's better if, you, if you're going to give someone another chance, you actually should give them another chance. Not say you forgive them and then... Hold it over their head whenever you can. Actually wipe that slate clean, baby. Okay, so we got romance, passion, uh, sexuality. Let, she doesn't like romance, so let's do... Let's do one more question, get some more honey first. Uh, I guess we can give her a drink. I, uh... Uh, how old are you? Well, it's all about how you feel. Uh, it's not how old you are, it's how you are being old. Words of wisdom. I got it from a TV show. I can't even remember. It's actually... Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. It's a line that Arnold's grandma says. I, I really like cartoons, guys. Like, really... Uh, let me make sure I can even feed you before I even try to ask you something else. So I can't feed you anything else. So... I guess we'll just bump up a trait. And it'll be... Charisma. And we got another one. And... Luck. And let's go on that first date, baby. Also, I've noticed that the girls get easier to talk to the more you actually know about them beforehand, which they never tell you in the game, and it's only because I've beaten it already on my own that I even know that. And I don't think I I don't think I've seen anyone else observe that yet. But yeah, the girls get easier to manage once you actually know more about them. Oh, you better love it. I spent the finest, not my money, to get it. <laughs> okay. Um. Man. This is actually pretty easy already. Uh. I didn't want to use that yet. Wait. Okay, romance is what you don't like. Romance... And just because they don't like a trait doesn't mean you should avoid it. You know, for all the people who are wondering how to play. But, um, yeah, it doesn't mean you should avoid the trait. It just means that it should be your last option. You know. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's do... One move for every two broken hearts. So it's one, two, three. We, we gotta get three extra moves. Of course you do. I know how to win you over. Just, that's how you win all girls over, right? You buy their affection. Nothing about actually knowing them or knowing how they feel. <laughs> um, wise words from Uncle Jonathan. <laughs> no, no romance. She just wants... She just wants to be... Treated 
and sexed. <laughs> that that's what she wants. She doesn't want you to get clingy or lovey dovey, which is probably more to protect herself than you. Um, you know, she's probably had some bad experiences. Uh, turn them all into joy tokens. Bam. Oh god, I really don't like being called baby. And I live in an area where like everyone calls everyone baby and it's it's a big deal for me. I don't like it makes me uncomfortable. And then I it's I'm in an area where even grown men will call each other baby <laughs> and it's not weird, but I, I just it, I feel uncomfortable. I don't like being called anyone's baby. <laughs> I don't know why I've always just been like that. Um, just please, just don't call me baby. Like, please. Boom, tick a boom, tick a boom, tick a on do the boo doom. Oh, I'm almost done. Ha! Huh. Well, we gotta do another one. We can't let the episode in like that. Oh we haven't even. Oh, we have in our time. Ha! Huh. Man. Time flies when you, you know, wooing the ladies. When you, when you just using your skills, the, the, that Mag Daddy handbook. You know, when you, when you just, you know what I mean. <laughs> Man, I'm all kinds of rambly, aren't I? Ooh, the playful buddy outfit. Well, guys, that was Jesse. That is her name, right? We haven't forgotten it already, right? Anyway, that was Jesse. We're going to call it here, folks. And uh, as always, this is the Jack of Monster Development telling you, MILFs need love too. Stay frosty, Pete.